Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So a new study out of the University of Exeter has discovered that maybe biological or genetic mechanisms may make some people more susceptible to developing age-related muscle loss or sarcopenia in later life. Well, that's enough waffling off me. Let's jump into the presentation and see what this new study out of the University of Exeter has got to offer. A new large-scale genetic analysis led by researchers at the University of Exeter in England has found that biological mechanisms contribute to making people more susceptible to muscle weakness in later life, finding that diseases such as osteoarthritis and diabetes may play a large role in susceptibility. And there are links in the description below to the studies and articles I used to put this presentation together. As we get older, we lose muscle and consequently muscle strength. And in some people, this severe weakness impacts their ability to live everyday lives. This condition is called sarcopenia. Around 10% of people over the age of 50 experience sarcopenia. And in America, there's a death from a fall and a resulting break in a hip or a femur every 19 minutes as a result of this condition. There are many causes thought to impact the likelihood of developing this age-related muscle weakness, which is linked to higher death rates in those who are over 50. In a genetic analysis of over 250,000 people aged over 60 from the UK Biobank study and 21 other cohorts, an international team led by researchers at the University of Exeter looked specifically at hand grip strength. UK Biobank is a large long-term biobank study in the United Kingdom which investigates the retrospective contributions of genetic predisposition and environmental exposure to the development of disease. The biobank study began in 2006. They used the thresholds of loss of muscle function derived from international definitions of sarcopenia, which relates to muscle mass, muscle strength, and or muscle function. The team, including collaborators from the USA and the Netherlands, then conducted a genetic analysis. They found that specific biological mechanisms push some people towards sarcopenia whilst protecting others. The study, published in Nature Communications, identified 15 areas of the genome associated with muscle weakness, including 12 loci not implicated in previous analyses of continuous measures of grip strength. Loki is the plural of locus and is a specific fixed position on a chromosome where a particular gene or genetic marker is located. Biomarkers in the blood, including red blood cells and inflammation, may also share causal pathways with sarcopenia. Together, these results highlight specific areas for intervention or for identifying those people who are most at risk. Senior research associate and lead author Garen Jones said, we found that our analysis of muscle weakness in older people shared common genetic pathways with metabolic diseases such as type 2 diabetes and autoimmune conditions such as osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. In subgroups of these people with increased risk of these conditions, sarcopenia may be a key outcome to look out for and prevent. Lead author Garen Jones closed by saying, we hope that by understanding the genetic contributions to muscle weakness with age, we will be able to highlight possible therapeutic interventions earlier in life, which would lead to a happier and healthier old age. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. Um, so it looks as though some people who may be inclined to develop genetically type 2 diabetes and arthritis may also be inclined to develop sarcopenia in later life. That said, there are things that we can do to fend off 
the signs of sarcopenia and if we have it there are things that we can do to also reverse sarcopenia. I will put up a link to the playlist at the end of this video to show you what can be done about sarcopenia. Well that's it for today. I hope you found this video interesting. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. As always, please take care, stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.